the sneak and expect tonight. I've got parted magic 4.2. Now I've never ever used this before because I just thought it was another disk partitioning program, but it's a lot more. We we'll run down my documents: Clonezilla, hardware information, mount, partition editor, a smart control section, and a start network. You say, why would you have that on one of these programs? Well, that's because it's more than just a partition editor. So we're going to start the network and it'll open a browser for us once it's all done. So there we go, it's connected to the network. I'm just going to open the start menu. Have a look while it's opening the browser. We'll go down to the start menu, which is the usual place. You've got a small little menu here. You've got accessories. And we've got graphics. There you go, there's the browser. Internet and system tools. And there's plenty there in system tools, so it's ideal for fixing a dead system really. Lots to play with, but we're going to come back to some of this a bit later. But first, after I've scrolled up here, we're going to have a play with Firefox 3.5, which is a bit snazzy to say the least. It's got a few more features than the current Firefox. Oh, I'm going to show you one. So if we go up to Tools, and we're going to scroll down to Start Private Browsing. Now this basically means you can browse the web and it just won't save anything. So in reality you can actually still do that in Firefox, but this is just a one button thing. To, have to, to stop you having to uh, get rid of all your cache, browsing history, bookmarks, passwords, blah de blah de blah. I'll open more. And this basically explains it to you, so if you want to download it and have a look, be my guest. Lovely. So anyway, we'll go to Parted Magic page, so I'm going to put it in Google. Make sure it's all working hunky-dory. And it is. It's nice and clear, and it's nice and quick as well. Very surprising. I'm actually running from the live CD here, so even better, really. Right, this actually tells you about Parted Magic and all the stuff it can do and what it's got in it. And it's saved to quite a few different extensions there, as you just see. But we're going to have a little play while we're here. Right, firstly, we'll go down to the partition editor. Now, this is basically just gparted. But as you can see, the little drive I'm playing with is a little free drive, but I've uh, done it into an EXT extension and a bit of swap. All works lovely jubbly. It's what I like to see. It's nice. And it's quite quick too. Not as quick as gparted live CD, but then again, that is just for partitioning etc. It's not really for this sort of thing. You can mount devices, hardware information. Now this also comes with some other distros, but I didn't expect to find it on one of these really to be honest with you. So what we do, we're going to do a benchmark using Blowfish to see how dead my system is. And it looks like it's well dead. An Intel Celeron and beats it. Oh dear dear me, I'll have to look into that one. It is an old system though, but it makes a full processor doesn't it? But never mind, there's plenty of options there to play with. Very good. Live CD too, don't forget that. Clonezilla. Now I'm not going to do anything with that tonight, but I'm just opening it to show you. This is another video on its own really, but it's on the disc, so it's really, really good if you're saving a system. Lovely, I like it. Nice. But don't forget, use it yourself. Just don't go by my videos all the time. I'm just showing you what's there. So you've got my documents at the top, which is usual in any system. We'll go back down to the menu. You've got plenty there in accessories, as you can see. You've got Image Viewer, Firefox, List Network, Start Network, VNC Viewer, very good, I like it. System Tools, a lot of stuff on here. So apart from Clonezilla, you've got your Raised Disk, G Party, ISO Master, Removing Hard Disk Drive, Blimey, Lots, Test Disk, TrueCrypt. Now I'm just going to open this. I've used this true crypt before quite a while ago. And being on the disk it does help because if you've actually encrypted some of the drives on that disk and you want to get to them, this is the way to do it. Lovely. But this will have to be another video on its own as well because that would be quite a long one I think to show you how that works. But I've opened it to show you that it's all there and all does work. That's nice. I like, I like, I like, you like. Very good indeed. Finally I'm going to go down to the help. We'll click on there. That tells you all the key combinations, documentation, program list, and parted magic documentation. 
So we're going to open him up, and basically this tells you how to do everything with Part of Magic. Lovely, nice, everything's there, and there's some videos which I haven't actually looked at myself yet, but I will do at a later date. Now on the whole, if you want to recover a system or repair a system, this is the disc you need in your box. Nice, Part of Magic 4.2, Sneaky Linux, going out. Thank you all.